Hello students, welcome to One Academy. So, in the last class, we were discussing about the previous year questions of Animal Kingdom. But it's like, you know, a lot of number of questions are there, so we couldn't be able to complete. So, we are restarting the remaining in this class. So, we can start question number 59. Which of the following groups of three animals each is correctly matched with their one characteristic morphological feature? Scorpion, spider, ventral, solid, nervous system. Correct only. Cockroach locustinia metameric segmentation. Okay. Cockroach locust but tinea. Tinea coming under where? Yeah, they are platyhelm in this, so they don't have a metameric segmentation. This is wrong. Liver fluke, sea anemone, sea cucumber. Okay. They are having bilateral symmetry. The sea anemone is coming under. Yes, they are nidaria. They don't have bilateral, they are radial symmetry. This is wrong. Centipede prawn, sea urchin. Joined appendages, centipede and prawn having, but sea urchin is coming under echinoda meta, they don't have. So, one is our answer. Clear? Question number 60. Which of the following phyla is correctly matched with its two general characteristics? Okay, echinoda meta, uh, pendamorous radial symmetry, and mostly internal fertilization. No, they are external fertilization, they are not at all internal. So, this is wrong. Mollusca, normally oviparous and development through a trochopore or veligar larva. Yeah, actually they are oviparous, right? Then development is, is indirect through a larval stage. So, it, this can be a right answer. Arthropoda, boy divides into head, thorax and abdomen and respiration by trachea. See, can we say trachea only? We discuss many, many ways like gills are there. Okay, book gills are there, book lungs are there. So, we cannot judge like that. So, we cannot say like this. Codata, not occur at some stage and separate anal and urinary openings to outside. Okay, some of the codates, usually higher members are showing that like that. But we cannot say all having a separate opening for anal and urinary openings. For example, in the case of amphibia, okay, they are having cloaca. That is a common chamber or common opening for urinary tract, reproductive tract as well as the digestive tract. So, we cannot say like that. So, this is also wrong. So, 2 is our answer. 61. Which one of the following is not a characteristic phylum? Characteristic of phylum Annelida. Okay. Pseudocelom. It is a characteristic of astral mindus. Now, Vendel now called this characteristic closed circulatory system is a characteristic. Then, segmentation is also. So, our answer is option 1. This is not a characteristic of Annelida. It is of astral mindus. 62. Which of the following pairs are correctly matched? Okay. Crocodile. Okay, crocodile having, yes, four chambered heart. One, four. This is matching. Sea urchin, parapodia. No, sea urchin coming under echinoder meta, parapodia sitting in analida, nearest. So, this is wrong. Obelia, metagenesis. Yes, it is correct only. Lemur, thicot. Lemur is a, like a, it's a primate. Okay, it's like a, a group of apes, we can say. So, they are having thicodon there. What is thicodon meaning? Is teeth attached to the jawbone. Correct only. So, it's correct. So, we want the correctly matched pair. It is 1, 3 and 4 we can say. Next step. Next one is 63. Which one of the following is a matching pair of a body feature and the animal possessing it? Okay. Vendral central nervous system leads. Yes. Pharyngeal gill slits absent in the embryo. Chameleon. No. Chameleon is a Codata in codata in their yes embryonic stage they are having a pharyngeal gill slit so this is a wrong statement ventral heart scorpion scorpion not ventral they are having a dorsal heart post anal tail octopus no post anal tail is characteristic of yes it's codates not a non codates octopus is a non codate coming under mollusca okay so this cannot be so answer is option one ventral central nervous system is leech. 64. What is common between parrot, platypus and kangaroo? Okay, parrot, platypus and kangaroo. Okay, parrot is in A is codata, platypus is in mammalia and kangaroo is also mammalia. What is common among them? Okay, toothless jaws. All of them having teeth, teeth, so we cannot say. Now, functional post anal tail. Yes, this having a chance. Oviparity. Parrot is fine, platypus is fine, but not kangaroo. Strong. Yes, next step. Homeothermy, okay, homeothermy, 
is seen by all of this. Now, functional, post anal tail and homeothermy. Please tell me the answer. I'll go with option 4, homeothermy. Why? Tell, tell, tell one point. Functional, post anal tail. See, kangaroo having a tail. It's fine. Okay. For example, do we have a functional, post anal tail? No. Same way, parrot. Okay, they also won't having a is post anal tail, so it is not a common feature, so we can cut out this. So, option 4 is homeothermy. Clear? So, 65. What is true about nearest scorpion and cockroach? Okay, let's see. They all possess dorsal heart. Okay, chances there. None of them are aquatic. No, nearest is aquatic. Okay, this cannot be because nearest is aquatic. Next about, they all belong to same phylum. No, nearest Annelida, Scorpio and Cockroach are. Yes, they are Arthropoda. They all have jointed paired appendages. Nearest don't have but Scorpio and Cockroach having. So, one is our answer. They all possess dorsal heart. 66, two common characters found in centipede, cockroach and crab. All is coming under yes, Arthropoda. Book lungs and antenna, compound eyes and anal cerci, joined legs and chitinous exoskeleton, green gland and trachea. Very simple. These features are common to all the arthropods, joined appendages as well as the chitinous exoskeleton. So, option 3. 67. Metamoric segmentation is the characteristic of, of which all phylum? Ah, Anilida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, sorry, Codata, Anilida, Arthropoda, Codata. Okay, so, Mollusca Codata, no, Platyhelminthus, no, Echinodermata, no, then Anilida and Arthropoda, yes, this is the one. Okay, option 4. Question number 68, which one of the following is a matching set of a phylum and its three examples? Okay, so first one. Porifera, Spongilla, Euplectella, Penatula. Okay, in this one, okay, Penatula is what is coming in Nidaria. So, this cannot be Nidaria, Bonilia, Physalia, Aurelia. Bonilia is not in Nidaria. This is wrong. Platyhelminthus. Okay, Planaria is coming under Platyhelminthus, remaining not. Now, Mollusca, Lolico, Terido, Octopus. All these three are in Mollusca. Okay. Okay, actually, many terms are not in NCRT. Okay, this is a little out of NCRT type of question. Okay, don't give more importance to these examples. Okay, leave it. Now, next one. 69. In contrast to analysts, the platyhelminthus show. Okay, so absence of body cavity. Yes, but this is the correct one only. They are acylomate. Bilateral symmetry, both of them having bilateral symmetry. Then both of them do not having radial symmetry. Presence of pseudo seal. It is not in the case of uh, platyhelminthus. The swans is one. In flat forms, they don't have a body cavity. Okay. Now, 70. The animals with a bilateral symmetry in young stage and radial pendamorous symmetry in the adult stage belong to the phylum. It's very easy. Bilateral in the young stage, radial in the adult stage is echinodermata. No more discussion about that. That much easy question. 71. Presence of gills in tadpole of frog indicates that. Okay, what is the indication? Fish were amphibious in the past. Fish evolved from frog-like ancestors. Actually, in the evolution, we know that a fish, then only amphibia will come. Okay, so this cannot be. Frog will have gills in future. No, the meaning is what? Frog evolved from gilled ancestors. This is the answer. Okay, why we can see gills in the tadpoles of the frog? Because it is indicating that they are evolved from, yes, gill ancestors. 72. One of the following is a very unique feature of the mammalian body. Okay. Unique feature. So, yeah, here is our unique feature. Presence of diaphragm. Only seen in mammalia. Now, 73. Cycon belongs to a group of animals which are best described as. Okay. Cycon. Unicellular or acellular. No, they are. Multicellular, multicellular without any tissue organization, high chance for that. Multicellular with a gastrovascular system, multicellular having tissue organization but no body cavity. This cannot be, this is in the case of Nidaria, so 2 is our answer. 
okay without any tissue organization 74 in which of the following notochord is present in the embryonic stage okay it is seen in the all chordates some chordates vertebrates non chordates notochord in the embryonic stage is seen in the case of all chordates and you will think how how all chordates it will be like only vertebrates right see if it is urochordata or cephalochordata or vertebrata all of them having this notochord in the embryonic stage in vertebrata they are replaced by the vertebral column later in the case of uh, cephalochordata they will continue with the notochord in the case of urochordata up to larval tail they are having like that clear so option 1 75 in which of the following animals post anal tail is found okay so post anal tail is a characteristic of chordata so just to find out a chordata here is our snake okay so that is the answer 76 Which of the following animals have scattered cells with the cell tissue grade organization? Okay, cell tissue grade. So it cannot be liver fluke or ascaris. You will have a doubt with the sponges or hydra. Okay, because they give cell tissue grade. This will be the answer. Obviously, hydra, not sponges. Why? Because sponges have only cellular level. Hydra having what tissue level? So option two is our answer. Clear. Next one. Seventy-seven. What is true for mammalia? Okay. Platypus is oviparous. Platypus is oviparous. Yes. Bats have feather. Bats have wings, but not feathers. Now, elephant is ovo viviparous. No. They are vivi. Diaphragm is absent in them. It is present in them. So, option one is the right answer. Platypus is oviparous. Next one, seventy-eight. Temperature changes in the environment affect most of the animals, which are okay, which will change according to the environment. It's very easy. It is poikilothermic. Seventy-nine. Canal system is a characteristic feature of symbol. It is sponges. Can we say echinoderms? No, they are having water vascular system. Here it is asking us water canal system. Eighty. Which of the following is not found in birds? Okay, pelvic girdle, pectoral girdle, hind limb, fore limb. Which one? It's fore limb. Fore limb is not. That is modified to form wings. So option four. Eighty one. Long bones are hollow and connected by air passages. They are characteristic of aves, birds. Very simple question. Most appropriate term to describe the life cycle of Obelia is. metagenesis or alternation of generation 3 83 coelom is found between and we can say where the coelom is formed it is found between yes the case, in the case of coelomid organism it is found between the two mesoderm okay two mesoderm but here body wall and ectoderm that we cannot say ectoderm and endoderm no we can write mesoderm and body wall okay this is a better answer here so option 3 now 84 pneumatic bone is found in okay, pneumatic bones they are found in the case of any birds so here is a pigeon here option 3 pigeon what is pneumatic bone meaning yes the bones contain air passages or air cavities 85 nephridia in earthworm are analogous to okay nephridia It is what? It is like a excretory organ. It is analogous to nematoblast in Hydra, flame cells of Planaria. Here comes both of them are excretory organs. Gill is for respiration. Trachea also for respiration. Nematoblast is stinging capsule. Eighty six. Which of the following is common among mammals? Okay, they undergo no molting. They have seven cervical vertebrae. They are carnivores. They have ventral nerve cord. they don't have ventral nerve cord they are not all are not carnivorous carnivorous now they have seven vert cervical vertebrae not every one now they undergo no molting option 1 is the right answer the formation of canal system is sponges is due to folding of the inner walls gastrovascular system reproduction Porous walls. It's porous wall. Porifera. Porous walls. Okay. Now, eighty-eight. 
besides annelida and arthropoda metamorphism is exhibited by okay besides annelida and arthropoda metamorphism is exhibited by or codators here okay that is the answer 89 the organism attached to the substratum generally possess one single opening of the digestive canal cilia on the surface are to create water current radial symmetry asymmetrical body usually this the organism attached substratum any surface they cannot move okay in such cases they usually having radial symmetry why to equally reach to all the areas they are having what they are having the radial symmetry so those organisms attached substratum having what a radial symmetry this is our answer now 90 a common characteristic of all vertebrates without exception division of body into head neck trunk and tail body covered by exoskeleton possess two pairs of functional appendage here comes our answer so possession of two pairs of functional appendages option 3 is our answer 91 one of the special characters of cylindrate only is the occurrence of okay special character polymorphism that was the answer. Then flame cells. It is seen in platyhelm in the snow way. Then hermaphroditism. Seen many other organisms. So we cannot say. Then nematocyst. So now only one doubt. Polymorphism or nematocyst. Okay. So we can say the name nidaria. It's a representing what? Yes. That is the presence of nematocyst. So we can go with the four. Okay, then comparing to the polymorphism. So, option 4. 92. Radial symmetry is usually exhibited in animals which, yes, we just only discussed this thing, attached to the substratum. 1. 93. Among the following organisms, point out a completely non-parasitic form. Completely non-parasitic. Leech is parasitic. Tapeworm is parasitic. Mosquito. We cannot say that much parasitic. Okay. So, we can say option 2, mosquito. 94, budding is a normal mode of asexual reproduction in. Okay, budding. So, uh, in many organisms, we know that in higher forms, they are showing only sexual reproduction. Asexual is shown by mainly two groups. Which are they? Yes, one is uh, sporifera, second one is hydra. Option 2. That's it. Next is 95. Egg-laying mammal is, it's platypus, very easy question. See, it's 1992 now. Okay, we travel this much long and we reach 1992 here. Okay, so next one, 96. Which of the, which one occurs in echinodermata? Bilateral symmetry, radial symmetry, porous body, soft skin. Okay, their body is not porous, spiny. They are not soft, very rough skin only. Bilateral radial, which one you will go for? They're just telling which one occurs in echinodermata. So, they are talking about adult case. Okay, adult having what? Radial symmetry. Two. 97. Excretory structures of flatworms or tinea are? They are, yes, we can say either flame cells or protonephridia. Anyway, in that chapter, they are given flame cells. So, I am going with option 1. 98. Malpigeon tubules are? They are the excretory organs of insects. One thing. Okay, malpigeon tubules are excretory organs of insects. Yes, correct only of annelids, no. Respiratory organ of insects, no way of annelids. So, it's option 1. It's 90, 90th question, okay. Then 99, a chordate character is will spiracle post anal tail chitinous exoskeleton. It is post anal tail. See, do you think that when the years go very previous means, questions are more easier, okay. Very single and, uh, options, simple answers, okay. So, we can say that, see, each year by year, this exam getting more competitive compared to the previous years. So, we want to have that uh, ability to, whatever the questions, you know, you want to know how to tackle this. That's really important. Clear? So, next one. 100. We are almost going to finish. Earthworms are useful, harmful, more useful than harmful, more harmful. They are useful only. They are not at all harmful. Okay. Now, 101, which is not true amphibian animal, which is not true amphibian, salamander, toad, tortoise, frog, it is tortoise, it is reptilia, 
okay yeah i think we are done now yes we are done okay actually it's like a history we done almost one not one questions from this chapter i don't know any more questions existing in previous set to solve that must be discussed today okay so if you could able to answer at least in this 100 at least like a 8590 then don't worry you are say so now but if you can't means then practice more okay just 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 remember just think about it why you made this wrong why it is right for you just think it that way one more thing see for example a question and four options that time okay you got one answer fine safe only but make sure that why the other three options are wrong that is very 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 important clear so first select your answer and just to confirm why other three are wrong if you don't get a proper answer why the other three are wrong then recheck your answer i'm telling like that clear so focus more do more questions practice more read ncit and throw the chapter anyway we completed the whole questions all previous year questions from the chapter animal kingdom i hope you have a good idea of all the questions by now so that's all for today's class thank you so much